Today I will be looking over and analyzing case study 4. And in this case study, it closely analyzes the virtual reconstruction of one of the largest refugee camps in Afghanistan after a 1979 Soviet Union invasion. The project repurposes the technology that is used in online multiplayer games to create a virtual community of testimony, with the main goal being to create an immersive simulation that conveys the trauma that can be seen in this setting, and with the intent to recreate the site with sheer accuracy and respect to the original campsite. And this all relates back to the course material, as in Chapter 2 it mentions Humanities Gaming. Humanities Gaming makes it possible to connect with multiple participants and provides consistent user engagement in game world simulations that are compelling visually and interactively. Humanities Gaming can help us explore interactive modes of learning and ways of grappling with the human experience. Finally, aspects of within gaming such as pursuits, pleasures, competitive drive, and seductive engagements can be used as a basis for games of scholarship. I have been playing games ever since I was a kid and have even played games that were talked about in the textbook, such as World of Warcraft. And it makes me happy see, to see that modern day gaming can prove to be beneficial, especially in the field of digital humanities. And with the integration of virtual reality, we can explore the reconstruction of this camp in first person and in better detail, which allows users to further immerse themselves in the world and will allow users to feel more invested with the content being presented. And the virtual reality re approach is perfectly valid because there are many modern games that have implemented virtual reality into their games, such as the Elder Scrolls Skyrim, an open world role-playing game, and Minecraft. And even though these are not historical games, it just shows that games of any genre can be integrated to virtual reality as it gives users a better feeling of immersion and a better sense of realism. And it helps fulfill some of the aspects that are essential for humanities gaming. Thank you and that's it.